Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Bible says, according to Psalm 91, verse 13, you will tread upon the lion and upon the cobra, and the young lion and the serpent you will trample under feet. Hallelujah. Time for us to press on. We must press on. No giving up. No letting down, no retreat, no surrender, no taking your eyes off Jesus, no discouragement, no place to the devil. We must focus only on God because God is speaking to someone today. It's not over. You are down, but you're not out. Get up and fight because remember, God has your back. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each person here, each person that is going through a lot of stress at this particular time, a lot of anxiety. Lord, I thank you that you know the future, you know the present, and you know the past. I thank you, Lord Jesus. You said, come unto me, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, you shall give them rest. Heavenly Father, I pray that the peace that surpasses all understanding would also come to guard their hearts and their minds in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, you would remember move that yoke upon their shoulders today. Lord, every care, every worry, everything that they cannot control. Lord, where they are looking back at the past mistakes or what could have been, would have been, should or should have been. Heavenly Father, I thank you from today forth, Lord, that they will start to stop overthinking or replaying failed scenarios of where they could have improved or how things could have changed. Lord, I pray as they are feeding that self doubt that that would stop today in the name of Jesus Christ and Lord that they would start to see each other and their own lives as you see them Heavenly Father I pray that as they release this burden today that you would fill them with your love with your peace with your joy today no matter what they are passing through in this very hour you have promised that for Lord and stirred them up to fight the good fight of faith. We thank you for repentance. We thank you for the blood, which is a brand new beginning for us each and every day to be righteous in your sight. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that brings us to the mercy seat. We thank you that we can boldly walk into the throne room of grace. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that this day is a new day for each and every person. Lord, I pray that those that grab hold of the prophetic utterance those that grab hold of the word of God and the promises of God, that they shall see the fulfillment of those things, no matter the warfare that is against them right now. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit that is here, that removes every yoke of bondage. We thank you for the yoke that is removed from their shoulders today by the anointing oil that comes from the Holy Spirit. Touch them and fill them today. Fill them, renew them them and take them to greater places, greater heights today. Lord, that those things shall come to pass that you have spoken over their lives. Lord, that they would arise from their beds. They would arise from their slumber. They would arise from their place today of work that they may know that no matter what is coming against them right now, it's because of the promises of God that is upon them as it was with the, with the Egyptians when they saw that God was was blessing the Israelites, they tried to put even more slavery or more taskmasters upon them, but the people still were blessed, and so shall each person, no matter what the enemy tries to do against them, no matter what the enemies do, God, you will use it to promote them, you will use it to bring them to that place because it's time to let the people of God go, that they may worship you, that they may make sacrifice to you, Lord that they may serve you with all of their hearts. Lord, I pray a blessing upon each person today from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Bless them today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you from Perth, Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this short utterance, I encourage you 
appreciate you. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, for all those that have continued fasting or are still fasting with the 21-day fasting, may the Lord bless you. Don't forget, we've also got the up-and-coming four-day fasting on the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd, and the 4th of August. I encourage you to join in because it's about the anointing for the intercessor. It is the most vital fasting you could do this year is this particular one so that you can be equipped, anointed, and the gifts may be imparted to you to be able to be his end time intercessor for in this hour because revival is coming, precious saints. Precious saints, I am off to Africa. I will be in Africa. And as you know, I'll be in Africa and we shall start in Kenya on the 8th, the 9th and the 10th of August. We have a conference there, Precious Saints. We have a conference for all to come and we've just confirmed the venue which is at the Western Hotel. The venue is the Western Hotel. God has opened the doors so that I can be there. I encourage all to make sure that you attend this because the revival could start in any place. And as I've declared, as I saw the visions from the very early days, I saw it starting in East Africa first in the visions that I've had. So I encourage you to partake. Anybody that needs baptism, we shall be also organizing baptism. I'm about to release the updated flyer for that also. God is about to move. And then after Kenya, Precious Saints, I'm there for a week and then I'm off to Zambia. I will be in Zambia also for a week. We have meetings in Zambia. You've seen the flyer. If you're in Zambia, make sure you come. And then I'm heading to Mozambique. I will be in Mozambique for under two weeks. I will be in Mozambique for under two weeks and will be in the two major cities. We will be in their capital and also in Biera with Pastor Octavia and also the other pastors that will be welcoming there. It will be very busy. Then we are off to South Africa for the first weekend, full weekend in South Africa from the 7th, 8th, uh, for a two-day conference in Johannesburg at the Birchwood Hotel, Precious Saints. And then from there, we are continuing on. But if you are hearing me today and you are in Africa, you are in these places, make sure you attend. All our meetings are free of charge, Precious Saints. They're all free of charge. They are all free of charge so that all can come and partake of this end-time revival Within this hour, precious saints, though you have no money, come buy and eat. Come drink. These meetings are free. Come and receive the anointing of this end time revival as we're believing that the sparking of this revival is going to happen. Let me tell you what we've been celebrating today will not be what we're going to celebrate in the coming days of greater glory, of greater latter reign of his glory coming to prepare a bride without spot, without wrinkle, without stain for the soon stetching away of the bride of Christ. So I encourage you to partake, get ready, get connected, RSVP to the meetings, let us know you're coming. God wants to move, start to advertise the meeting yourself. It is quick, it is God's timing, He is doing it. So from my family to yours, God bless you, we love you, we are praying for you precious saints. Shalom, shalom. Shalom.